Now, as usual, I'm going to deviate a little bit. I'm going to show you some things that I'm going to do in my code to simplify it. I don't know if these are things that you will know yet, so I'm going to explain those as we go on. So what we're looking here is we have a population of n llamas each year, n divided by 3 llamas are born, and n divided by 4, four llamas pass away. So this is a pretty simple code here, and again, I'm going to try and keep the video as short as possible to help get you guys through this. So I already put in some notes. Make sure to follow these because this is the first time it actually has you make a directory, code population, and then import the wget and etc. for all of that. So. The notes are here. These are your to-dos. Prompt for size, prompt for end size. So what I did is I filled in those to-dos already and these are actually going to be the code that we are filling in for this particular project. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is have our start dates, right? So we want to type int and we need the start, the end, and the years, sorry about that, to equal zero. Right? So that is going to be the first thing we have to do because we have to establish the start, the end, and the years to equal zero because we need to be counting from that moment on. So let's get into our first do while loop here. So let's go to do here. And we're going to use a couple functions that you should be familiar with, the printf and the scanf. But we're also going to be using something that's called percent %d, and I'll explain that when we get there. But our scanf function's already gone over in the lecture. I'm pretty sure they went over um, scanf and printf, so we will get to those. But if you don't remember, the scanf function returns the number of items that are successfully read from the input, uh, and in case of failure, it returns a negative value. So it's useful when you're like checking input that was read correctly and then processed, right? So let's get back to our do while loop. First off, let's not capitalize do there. All right, so do while. So the first thing we're gonna do is to do that. All right, so printf. And I believe they had something pretty specific in here, actually. Let's uh, put that closer so I don't get hit for styling. So enter starting population population size with minimum 9. End that quote. Close that out. All right. And then we are going to use our scanf tool. And here we are going to use our percent %d. Now, I don't think they go over this in the lecture. Percent %d, comma, and then start, right? So when we're looking at the percent %d, the percent %d is a format specifier for uh, scanf and printf in particular, right? To indicate that the argument inside of it must be an integer. So what it's doing is it's specifying the the integer that must be there. Now in the scan uh, scanf function, what it's doing is it's expecting an integer to input and store from the memory location and pointed to the and start location where the and symbol that we have right here is used to address the start variable which we've declared up top. All right, so that's what these are going to be doing. I hope that makes a little sense. As it do if it doesn't, as the code goes on, it it kind of should for you. All right, so we've got our first do. Let's. We're, what are we doing? Do while right, and we're going to start with at least nine years. Right, that was a requirement. So we can't do anything less than that. So we are going to now prompt for the end size. So let's get into that. So we got another do while loop here. So we're going to do. And this time, printf again, enter ending population size with minimum percent %d, right? So ending population size, uh, minimum. Now remember, this percent %d, even though it's in a quote here, is going to be recognized because it's in a printf function, right? So that's where that one comes in as really handy, in my opinion. Um, percent %d, quote, comma, start, right? There we go. And scan f on this one. And we're going to recall that percent %d, right? And 
So again, this is a really scrubbed up version of this. We want to keep these as simple as possible. Our do is established. Let's establish our while, while the end date is less than the start date. That one should be pretty obvious for you. You don't want the end date to be greater than the start date, otherwise you'd be going backwards, right? Okay, let's calculate the number of years until we reach each threshold. So what we're going to do here is while start is less than the end. So this is telling us as long as the start is you know before the end, which is good, right? What do we want to do while that happens? What we want to do is start, it's going to be equal to the start years, right? Plus the start years divided by 3 minus the start date divided by, oh, yep, good, oops, sorry, divided by 4. So this math actually all comes from what they asked you over here, right? So you have the start date, right? Each year you're getting three new llamas and each year you're losing four. So you take the start date and you add the start date plus the three that you have, right? So you have the, the beginning number of llamas and then that number plus three that have been born each year minus the number of, of llamas that have passed away that year. So that's where that math comes from, okay? All right, so we've got that in there. And then when we do that, we're going to do years plus plus. Uh, as you know, the plus plus indicator here is going each year up to what you've pre-established is the number of years, okay? So print out the number of years. That's a simple printf function. And we're going to do years. And again, we're using that percent %d. It comes in really handy once you start learning what it is. Um, it's it's not something I don't think they taught you about it here. So hopefully my explanation of it was simple. If it wasn't, I will try and go over it again as we're testing the code here. Return zero. All right, so that's it. That's that's actually the whole code right there. It should be pretty simple. So let's see if we've got it right. So first, let's go ahead and get into population. Try and get in there the right way. Let's make population. We do have an error, the and start here, and we're going to make population. And we're going to use 1200, 1300, one years. All right, so dot slash population, 1200, 1300, one year. All right, so let's look at. 100, 1 million, all right. One hundred, one million, and 115 years, so we are good on that. Although the minimum nine up here, we are going to go ahead and fix that. I didn't see that mistake earlier, so we're gonna do that. All right, so let's go ahead and run our style guide on it real quick, and a left click down there, and run style on it, looks good. Easy, right? Now we're going to run our check on it. Very easy code on this. The one thing that I did differently that I don't think you guys were taught in the lecture is that percent %d function. So while this is running, I just want to explain that again. So basically what our percent %d function is doing for you, because uh, you, you can actually run it without it, and I think in the code it wants you to use percent %i, right? But percent %d is a format specifier for printf and scanf, to indicate that the argument is an integer. That's it, right? So in the code printf years percent %d backslash n that we are using right here, so this code right here, uh, the percent %d is a placeholder for the number of years variable, which is a type of integer. So the printf function will actually replace percent %d with the value of the years variable that was printed to the terminal, right? So that's what percent %d does for you. Okay, so it looks like we are good here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys' time. Remember, it's free for you to like, it's free for you to subscribe, it's free for you to comment. All of those things help me out. If you share the video, great. If you like this, I appreciate you. Tune in for the next one. We'll be moving on to week two. I look forward to seeing you guys there.